Hi, boys and girls. How you doing? Do you know why I'm whispering? I'm whispering because I'm so excited. This is the last video, guys. We are doing diphthongs, or some people might say diphthongs. It all depends, but this is the last one. After this, you guys will have a, a solid foundation for reading and for decoding, okay? So this one is a little bit tricky, okay? So I'll, I'll say it a couple of times and explain what a diphthong is. A diphthong or diphthong is normally when you have two vowels or sometimes a vowel and a consonant. And in a word, when you, when you pronounce the word, it starts off making one sound when you get to the vowels, but then it turns into another sound, okay? So it's almost like it's making two sounds, okay? Two different sounds. All right, kind of tricky. I'll, I'll give you some examples to show you what I mean. Here are the most common diphthongs. A-U, A-W, O-O, O-U, O-I, O-Y, O-W, and E-W, okay? So whenever you see the letters A-U together, it makes the sound aw, like caught, okay? Whenever you see a W, it makes a sound aw, ah, like claw. Oo, this is a tricky one because it's going to have a few meanings, but oo, remember like broom, but it also, also can make the sound uh, like stood. O U, ow, like cloud. O I, oi, like oil. O Y, oi, like oyster. O-W, this is a tricky one as well because it could be ow or it could be o, like own or blow. And E-W is oo. Okay, so they give us quite a few examples for diphthongs. I'm just going to go to the nonsense words once because it gives us a combination of all of them so that we can practice some of those together. Okay, but we're almost done. Hang in there, guys. All right, so remember, if you're saying a diphthong correctly, okay, in the word, um, you're normally starting off with one vowel sound, and then it ends with another one. So your mouth, and Ms. Morales' mouth moves a lot when I talk, huh? But your mouth actually moves in two different positions as you're making the sound. Okay, so we're going to practice some together. It's raining again. All right. Whenever you want to wash your car, it always rains. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at number one. Loy. Bound. Drop. You bout or it could be boat coin crouf loy do mosp fall mock Moy, bomb, falc, route, draw, group, moof, or it could be muff, boust, drought, shaw, choy, Moip, claw, one more row, foy, moim, foik, my mouth is making all these positions, shoip, and root. Okay, so there are more. So, it should be a little bit challenging now because this is at the end. So, all the things that we've been learning so far, you're kind of combining everything to be able to decode these words. Now, sometimes when you're reading, you might decode a word, and it might seem like you could decode it correctly, but the word doesn't make sense. So that's when you might have a different type of pattern that, that you're following. So like the double O's, it can sometimes be O, oh, like the word foot, F-O-O-T, it, it could be foot, or it could be ooh, brew, okay? So sometimes when you say a word incorrectly, try, try to say it another way with like a different, um, a different rule, a different one of the other words that we've learned, and it might work out for you. Okay, so that's it. 
So we went through all of the decoding fluency drills. I know it was a lot. I didn't do a video for every single page because that we would have been here forever. And I think you would have really, if you haven't tuned out now, you would have probably tuned out. Okay, so but I've given you enough, I feel, that you should be comfortable in pronouncing these words. And also your parents should be comfortable in knowing what it should sound like when you read the words. Okay, so... Um, if you've made this far, bravo, pats on the back, woohoo! Go get some ice cream, tell your parents to take you to Scoops, go get some ice cream. I am so proud of you because I want all of you to become, I love reading, boys and girls, and I want you to become strong readers. And we don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this stuff. We want to spend time on actually reading the books, discussing the books, making sure that we understand them, um, and, and just, just reading for the pleasure of reading, okay? So... I want to hear some feedback. I want to hear what you thought. I want to hear parts that you liked for these videos, um, if I was going too fast, too slow, and if you felt like it helped you. Okay, so until we meet next time, enjoy your Christmas break. I hope that I can see you again soon and we can read some books and have some fun discussions and enjoy your Christmas break. Okay, so have fun. Bye.